hello everyone this is the second video in series of regular expression in the first video we learned what all about i mean all the introduction about uh, regular expressions right so in that we understood how to make a pattern to regular expression pattern to look for a particular value and where we try to fetch mobile numbers and the currency amount so here we're gonna be looking at some functions which are quite frequently used in regular expressions right so again we will take the example of fetching the mobile number only and we will make a pattern of it and then we will try to use each of these functions right so let's start with search so when we are going to start with search first thing which we gonna do is we're gonna create a pattern first right so pattern equals to re dot compile remember for this particular function we first gotta, we first need to compile the pattern so to compile that first we're gonna provide the pattern over here we want to look for digits and that of should be occurring 10 times right so if you want to understand how we come up with this particular pattern i strongly recommend you to check out the previous video link is given in the description section now once this is done the pattern is created all that you need to do is just use that particular pattern and then you just simply say search and let's hit enter oops we just got an error and we will just check it out what is the error search missing requirement argument one all right so we just provided the pattern but we didn't provide what is the text in which we want to look for this pattern so over here we're gonna say article so if you come up over here and this particular text is stored in article variable so that's something which we needed to provide and once we do this here is the first mobile number we got so search is something which will give you first occurrence only first wherever it finds the pattern matching to the value for the first time that will come over here now in this search we have three objects span string and group so let's understand what does that mean so first one is a span so like you can see over here here it says 77 to 87 right so it says that this particular string which has been given in this at 77th position the mobile number starts and that ends at 87th position so that's something which we get in span now if you want to understand how to fetch that so you can simply say x dot span and here you got that right so this will simply tell you from which position the first match is starting and till which position it is available i mean start and end point it will simply tell you let's see if we can use the group one over here now to use group what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do this so this will specifically give you exact that value which is matched by this particular pattern now if you want to let's say at certain point of time if you are confused or maybe you are quite down in the program and you want to see what is the string in which you are looking at right you can simply say a string right and then you got the string in which we are looking for that particular pattern so these are the three objects for search now next one which comes is find iter so what it does is search function finds the match for the single time but here it does for all but it does that one by one if you can iterate through a for loop you will get it one by one so again here also you need to first compile the pattern which we have already done over here so here i will directly use that okay so pattern dot find iter sorry find iter and in that we're gonna provide the article and let's see what happens if this works or not so this is something which is beyond of understanding what is it that is coming right so to make it in a way where we can understand it there are two two ways of doing this either you can say list and then you print this here is it that you got list of all the occurrences okay now the other way is you can use for loop and you can iterate through it for match in this and here you can say print match 
all right and let's print this you got the same result okay this is done now this comes find all this is something which i find particularly quite useful because here you don't have to struggle with all those things right what you're gonna do is you can simply say pattern pattern dot find all and over here you just say this okay here you of course need to provide the article in which we want to look for and here you get the mobile numbers exactly very clean and in the usable way right so i find it quite useful other than this if you want to let's say this is the article let's say this is the string in which we are looking for the pattern right and we are trying to find a match now if you if your requirement is wherever you find the match from that part from that point itself you want to split that particular string then you can use this split okay let's see how can we do that so first we're gonna use pattern pattern dot split right and just say this oops article all right and here you got that so now if you can see over here we don't have mobile number anywhere because wherever it found a mobile number it split it the takes from right from there okay and it has created a list of multiple strings okay multiple sentences rather you can say okay so this is particularly useful when you get the document with the special characters for example pipe or comma separated or anything separated right so in that scenario what you can do is you can look for a pattern you can split it right from there okay now here you can also specify how many split that you want for example there are four mobile numbers but i want split only for first two so what you can do is you can say max split and here you can specify two now you got this okay here you see first two for first two mobile number there uh, there was a mobile number over here so from here it has been splitted and from here it has been splitted but the next mobile number which it found it has not done any split for these two okay so this is how you can specify the number of splits as well now this is also very useful for example you uh, the these are the real mobile numbers you see over here right in the article but for some reason you want to hide the real mobile numbers into it then you can use the sub function sub is nothing but the substitute okay so what you can do is there are multiple ways you can use re dot sub and in that what you can do is you can provide the pattern so this is the pattern and then the art uh, string in which you want to look for this okay sorry so first here you gotta provide the string so it it will match with the pattern and whatever values it finds right we need to replace that with xx xx 10 times x we need to write five times xx xx x right and let's just do this okay okay we forgot to put article over here so now if you see over here wherever we had the mobile numbers those all has been replaced by x x x okay so this is how we can use the sub function the other way of using this is you can also use like this pattern and um, you can say sub and in that what you can do is you can directly start from here you can directly start from right here and then just hit enter it does the same thing in find all you also have option to you know ignore the cases for example this is the article article right and in this i want to look for let's look for something which is available in both of the cases uppercase and in lowercase let's see for example let's say re dot find all and we want to look for i and in article we want to look for this thing okay and here what i can do is we can use i right but this is finding wherever small i is available we also want to look for the capital i so to ignore the case what we can use do is we can use the flag option right and here what you can do is let's look for the valid flag values okay let's just say um let's say 
one let's try using one or maybe I can say so here in flags what you can do is you can again use the regular expression module re and dot you can just say ignore case over here and then if you use this you're gonna get all kind of values which is matching to this particular pattern right so you see capital and small both of the i's are available over here now this is it in this particular video just in case if you get any doubt or if you struggle doing something put that into the comment section i will definitely get back to you until then happy learning wish you very all the best